For you real estate agents out there who especially enjoy baseball, since we're in the baseball season right now, I want to share with you something about how I recognized just the other day how baseball and real estate sales are so much alike. So much alike. Think about this, when you watch a baseball game, you may sit there for half an hour, an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, and nothing happens. Nobody scores. Nobody makes a home run. Maybe nobody even gets on base. Well, real estate can be like that. You know, we may go a few weeks or even a few months before we get a buyer, before we get a sale, before we get a listing. Well, you know, I just recently implemented some things in the last few weeks that I've changed and made the rest of the story altogether different. Now, you have to have a real strong mindset for this, and probably you won't be interested, but I thought you'd like to at least see what I have to say. And I can understand, you'll, you'll enjoy what I have to say, maybe. You might say it's interesting, but, but you, you won't want to do this, okay? So, what I do every day, five days a week, eight o'clock in the morning, I have my list of a few hundred, few hundred telephone numbers, and I begin calling. Put my headset on and start calling. Hi, this is Dan McGinnis. I'm a real estate agent with Home Smart. I'm just calling to see if you might be possibly thinking of selling your house. No, no. You plan on moving ever? No, thanks. Have a great day. Just yesterday, in three and a half hours, I actually talked with 60 people. Got two leads. Set one listing appointment. Now, if you can do that every two weeks, or every week, or twice a week, or three times a week, you think maybe that might change your life a little bit? You might want to take a look at Fearless Agent, if you're serious about this business. Now, if you're not serious about it, you know, if you're like some of the baseball players that sit in the dugout, and they never even get on the field except to give the old high five at the end of the game after it's over, I can understand. And my friend Tom Hopkins used to say, I never see failure as failure, but only as an opportunity to practice and perfect my performance.